I thought it would be useful to just give you a little bit of the context in which this um, forum has arisen. At Trinity's board meeting in January, the president of the Graduate Students' Union tabled a memorandum endorsed by the president of the Students' Union, advising the college board that both the Students' Union and the Graduate Students' Union had voted in support of same-sex marriage, and inviting the board to consider forming, taking a favourable stance in support of same-sex marriage in the upcoming referendum. Following a fairly extensive discussion and comments from board members, including the representatives from both student unions, it was agreed that it would not be appropriate for the board of the college to take a particular stance on this issue one way or the other. However, in the spirit of inclusivity, inclusivity it was agreed that discussion on the issue should be facilitated by the college so that staff and students may make an informed decision at the time of the referendum. As part of encouraging discussion and information exchange, it was agreed that Trinity would organise this public forum. And this approach is exactly in line with the approach that we took with the, proposed, with the referendum on the proposed abolition of Shannon Aaron. We organised a public forum very similar to this in structure and indeed in timing as it happened. One of Trinity's goals in the new uh, strategic plan is that, our, is that we encourage our students to become civically engaged citizens. So we are proud that our students have taken a proactive role around the referendum. And we're particularly pleased at their very strong campaign over the course of this year to encourage students to register to vote. So just to run through the format of this evening, as you can probably figure out, there are four speakers advocating yes and four speakers advocating no. The organising committee felt that chance would be the fairest way to decide speaker order. So last week, in the presence of the university's internal auditor, a coin toss was used to decide whether the yes or no speakers should start. And the speaker order within the, each group of four was decided by drawing the names out of a hat again by the internal auditor. Okay, I think I've said all I need to say in terms of explaining where we've come from and the format of the evening.